Want to learn how to do any times table in one minute or less? Then click on the link below and master any times table you want. Now on to the video. Welcome back Intuitive Minds. In this video, we'll learn how to multiply any number by 10, 100, 1000, or even 10,000, and so on. So let's take a look. How quick could you multiply 3 times 10 if you didn't know the 3 times table, or if you didn't know how to multiply? You can actually get this answer in one second, literally, by taking the following steps. First, step one, notice that we have a whole number multiplied by 10. Whenever we have a whole number multiplied by 10, 100 or 1000, we simply get the whole number and copy it into the answer or into the answer line. Then step two, we count how many zeros we have. And since we have one zero, we just add one zero into the answer. So the answer is 30. So three times 10 equals 30. How about three times 100? So step one, take your whole number and copy it into the answer line. Step two, count the number of zeros and add them to the end of the answer. So 3 times 100 equals 300. Likewise, 3 times 1000, copy the whole number, put it into the answer, and count the number of zeros and add them to the end of the number. So it's 3000. So 3 times 1000 equals 3000. And that's how easy it is. Let's take a look at another example. 786 times 10. How quickly can you do that? Remember the steps. Take the whole number, copy it into the answer, count the number of zeros and add that to the end of the answer. So 786 times 10 equals 7,860. How about 786 times 100? How quick can you do that? Again, step one, take the whole number, copy it into the answer, count the number of zeros and add them to the end of the number. So 786 times 100 equals 78,600. How about 786 times 1,000? Same thing. Step one, copy the whole number, put it in the answer. Step two, count the number of zeros and add them to the end of the number. So the answer is 786,000. But what if we have a decimal? For example, 1.2 times 10. How will we do this? So step one, you count how many zeros we have. We have one zero, which means we need to make one jump of the decimal point to the right. So whenever we multiply, we make the decimal point jump to the right by however many zeros we have. So since we have one zero, we make one jump to the right. And so we have 12 point. And because we have nothing after the point, it will be 12.0. So we'll have 12 point, and then we could put zero at the end. So it's 12.0. What if we did 1.2 times 100? How would we do that? So the first step is to count how many zeros we have. Since we have two zeros, that equates to two jumps to the right. So we make one jump and we have another jump. And since that's a blank jump, we replace it with a zero. So every blank jump, we fill in with a zero. If it jumps over a number, that's fine. If it jumps over nothing, that means it jumps over zero because nothing is zero. So any jump that jumps over nothing means that we're jumping over zero. So 1.2 times 100 equals 120.0. How about 1.2 times 1000? So remember step one, count the number of zeros. So three zeros equals three jumps to the right. So we do one, two, second jump over nothing, third jump over nothing. So we have two zeros. So we make the jump and we move the decimal point, follow the jumps, follow the arrows. So the answer is 1200 point. And since we have nothing after the point, it will be 1200.0. How about if we wanted to do 0 0.00123 times 10? The same technique applies. Count the number of zeros. So one zero equals one jump. So we jump over the first zero. So the answer is, as we can see, 0 0.0123. What if we wanted to do 0 0.00123 times 100? So again, count the number of zeros as your first step. Two zeros equals two jumps, and because we're multiplying, we jump to the right. One jump, and another jump, and we move the decimal point. So the answer is 0 0.123. How about we wanted to do 0 0.00123 times 1000? So again, count the number of zeros. Three zeros equals three jumps. We go one jump, two jump, three jump, 
and the decimal point moves to make 1.23. So we only read the numbers immediately before and all the numbers after the decimal point. So immediately before is 1 and after the point is 23. So the answer is 1.23. What if we wanted to do 0 0.00123 times a million? The same technique applies. No matter how many zeros we have, the first step is to always count the number of zeros. So since we have six zeros, that means we need to make the decimal point jump to the right six times. So one, two, three, four, five, and a blank jump over nothing. So we put a zero there as a space filler and remove the decimal point accordingly. Now we read all the numbers before the point that are non-zero. So we have 1,230 point. And since you have nothing after the zero, it's 1,230.0. And that's all there is to it. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I hope you found this helpful. Smash the like button. Share with anyone who you think this might benefit. Do subscribe and click the notification bell for more tips like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.